there, there are moments when you realize how you are perceived by the world. And, and I had this moment. I, I was at connecting flight. I had been up since early in the morning. I was very tired. I'm walking down the middle of the terminal. I'm tired. My head's down. I just didn't care about anything. And that beep beep cart was behind me. <laughs> you know that beep 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 cart? And it's beep beep beep. You know that cart that transports people to their gate and when they get there they can magically walk? And I just had my head down and cut beep, 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 and I just thought, you know what, you'll get there when I'm good and ready for you to get there. <laughs> and finally we reached a point where the cart could pass me, and as the cart passes me, an elderly lady on the cart says, you would think with those ears that he could hear us. <laughs> I said was I heard that lady <laughs>
He wanted to draw them out. Then after they had shared the story of his crucifixion and resurrection, he said to them, O foolish ones, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. They had not yet understood the mystery. And so Luke tells us, the Lord clarified it. Was it not necessary that Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them all the scriptures, the things concerning himself. The mystery of his will has been and is being made known to God's people so that he might unite all things in him. One day when all the seasons which the Father has fixed by his authority have run their course, all of this unity will come to fruition. Finally, the scaffolding and the tarps and the wrapping will be stripped away and we will see the building in its completion. Until that day, we can be grateful that the Lord has revealed the mystery of salvation to us and we can walk in service and praise of him. Confident that while we may not understand the plans or the progress toward completion, the divine architect is working out all things for the good of his people and the glory of his son. For more on this, check out the book of Revelation, chapter 5, verses 1 through 14. Father, how we praise you and thank you. You are faithful and you are present with each of us individually and also when we gather as your church. Bless us this day, O Lord. We're thankful for it. And it's our desire to bring you glory, to show love and to share the gospel. Help us to do these things, Lord, and be with us, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, that's going to do it for us on this edition of Cafe Devo. It's a Friday, and I hope yours is a good one. I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off for now. God bless you, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.